What's going on, everybody? Uh, if you're coming across this video, uh, it's probably because you love playing Arma 3, or you've watched some videos of people playing Arma 3, playing cool co-op missions and stuff like that, maybe some cool zombie missions, and you don't quite know how to basically download all the mods and do everything that needs to do to be able to actually play that mission. So today I'm just going to quickly show you what to do, how to do it, and stuff like that. So good zombie mod for you and uh, maybe a buddy of yours, you want to play a little co-op. So what you want to do first, you want to go to the community, go down to workshop, type in Arma 3. That should be just the first one to pop up. Then once you're here, something I like to do is I just like to scroll down, go to co-op, then once I'm at co-op, I click most popular, uh, and then I change it to all time. And what this will do, this will give you a very long list of all sorts of different co-op missions, um, different styles and stuff that people have made over the years. And it shows you the ones that got rated probably the highest, uh, has the most um, people playing it, and stuff like that. So once you're here, you can just scroll down, keep scrolling until you find something that might pique your interest. For example, I'm just going to choose Doomsday Night. All right, so this looks pretty good. Um, a lot of times, uh, the creators of these will actually have a video of how to download and all the mods and stuff and get it playing. But uh, this one doesn't. But you could see little pictures, you know, stuff like that. Then if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the subscribe button and you'll also see a list of the mods required for this certain um, scenario. So what you got to do is first you hit subscribe. I've already subscribed to it, so I'm not going to unsubscribe. And then you want to make sure that you're also subscribed to all these mods. If you uh, hit subscribe first and then subscribe all these mods and it still doesn't have a check mark, you probably just need to refresh this page and uh, and then the, all the mods should have the correct check marks. Okay, so from there, uh, you can also, before you even download any of the mods, you can look and just read a little bit about the story, uh, mission tips. I would highly suggest reading mission tips um, because sometimes there might be little kinks in the mod and the mission tips will kind of help you navigate through those mods and stuff like that. And you can also read the comments. I left a little comment on this one because I've played it before. But um, yeah, and see what other people's thoughts are on the game and whatnot. All right, so once you've downloaded all the mods, you're gonna to wanna to open up Arma 3, and then you wanna to go to your mod section. And basically, you just wanna load all the mods that are highlighted right there. So the first mod is CPU maps. Make sure nothing else is loaded as well. So CPU maps, CPU core, oh, I already got those two, all right, and then RHS, scroll down until you find it, and this one is RHS USAF, select it, and then zombies and demons, and BG, 21 slaughter assists and then hidden identity three all right then once you have all those loaded up right here you can double check make sure you got all of them all and then you just hit play with mods and if you are the person who are hosting the server this is how you're going to do it so you want to go over to this tab right here host server you want to change the name of the server to something that's going to be easy for your friend or whoever else you're going to be playing with um, so be able to type in, you know, you don't want it super long. So just name it something simple. So I'm just going to name this one zombie. And then what you want to do next is change this from land to internet. Land, if you keep that on, you'll be playing by yourself. It won't be open up to the internet. But sometimes you might want to do that. And sometimes some of the mods, um, they actually require you, if you want to play single player, to still load it up this way as if you're going to create an internet game, but just search it to land. But if you are playing with your buddies, switch to internet, uh, keep the port the same, or one of these ports right here, 
um, because that is required in order for the server to actually pop up and be live to the internet. And then the next thing you want to do is change the max amount of players. So you can just change this to however many friends you're playing with plus yourself. Um, most of the time, these co-op missions, the max people are four. So I'm just going to leave it at four and then make sure you check this box because this box is actually what makes it a public server that other people will be able to join. And then you can also set a password if you don't want any other people randomly joining your game. All right. So from there you hit host server and then it will say trying to set up a port forwarding. Please wait. And then from there, after it sets up your server, um, you'll be brought to this screen. Now keep in mind, your friend cannot join the game yet at this point. You still got to select the map and the game mode and stuff like that. So just from looking at those pictures earlier on the mod where I downloaded the mod, I knew the mod was going to be in Chanaris. And that's also one of the mods we downloaded. Um, so just so happens to be Chanaris Autumn. And then once you click on that, your mod that you're playing, your scenario will pop up and then you want to click that. Um, and then from there, you just hit play. And then it will bring you to this screen. And this is the screen that your friends can join. And then from there, it'll bring you to this screen. And basically, that's all you have to do. The only thing left is to select the slot you want to play as. And then your friend can join you at this screen. And make sure to read, um, what I was telling you about earlier about the server or mod tips because sometimes the server mod tips will say to leave the AI on so if you were to disable it it won't uh, play the scenario correctly so just make sure you read those scenario or the mod tips and tricks and how to operate it and stuff like that all right and so from there um, if you are the person trying to join the game what you want to do is go back to servers go to internet hit filter and then type in the name of the server that uh, your friend created. Make sure it's spelled exactly the same. And then keep mission blank and this type box blank and all this other stuff how it is on my screen. And then all you got to do is hit OK. Once you hit OK, um, make sure just to wait a minute because it will take some time for your friend's server to actually pop up. Um, it won't definitely won't load as fast as uh, these big you know servers like these big epoch you know, servers um, the co-op servers where it's just your server that your friend created will take a little bit of time um, but obviously nothing absurd so just be patient if it doesn't pop up all right so that's everything you need to know about how to download mods scenarios and how to create your own server so that you and your friends can play together if you have any questions or if anything wasn't uh, simple enough just leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you and help you out, whatever you need. All right, well, I hope you all enjoy. Find some mods out there and uh, make sure to give the creators of the mod credit. Uh, just leave them a like, maybe a favorite, or write a comment telling them how much you enjoyed uh, playing their scenario because they really, uh, they're, they're making these mods, you know, for us, the community. And just that little, you know, thanks for making this mod. It was amazing. Really could change someone's day. So, Hope you guys have a great time and I'll catch you next time.